Typical morning driving to work up the mountain. Nice and fresh. Couldn't see one thing in front of me. And three deer, not one, not two, three deer tried to kill me. First one, just as typical deer do, just jumped out in front of me at the last minute. But the other two came running up the road towards the front of the van, giving zero fucks. I was like, not today, motherfuckers! Jesus, mind pussy, mind the pussy, mind the pussy. Jesus Christ. That poor pussy there. It's going around the place, just bursting for a shake. <laughs> I only say this to you. I wouldn't mention it to that prick there now. I cannot complain about this spot. It is a piece of piss. I am making him some money. Oh, jeez, the money I'm making him. Say it's ridiculous. Me with the car ped for the house ped for and the kids reared. No wonder he's a happy man. Now I would I would find one thing to complain about. It's a fucking wood of horrors when it comes to insects and bugs and stuff like that. It's fucking horrible. I am working from left to right, happy in the knowledge that I may I just may catch up with Greg. Now the chances of me catching up with Greg in that kind of timber is slim and none. But you know you have to think positive. And there he is, the prick, over there again. So because this is such a monumental day, I'm going to take my time telling you this story. No, I've been busy all evening with the baby and putting the kids to bed. Now that's done, it's time to make a cup of tea, sit back, relax, and listen to what I have to say. For me, every day starts the same. The alarm goes off at half four, I get out of the kitchen make myself a cup of coffee. I then go down to the office, print out a manifesto, do a few emails, and at half five again, the alarm goes off, and that tells me to fuck back up to the wood and begin my day as an international timber relocation operative engineer. And I'll try to be as productive as I can, and go home, spend time with my family, and then repeat the process over and over and over and over, because that's what life is. It's repeti repetition. It's repetition. I've been struggling for the last three months. I have been struggling because in the middle of these repetitive days, I keep getting these flashbacks. Flashbacks of having no PlayStation and how difficult it has been trying to track down this fucking PlayStation. It's been tough. I've been struggling. Last thing I think of before I go to bed at night, first thing I think of when I wake up in the morning, and I'm just seeing a little bit of light in my life, and I'm starting to enjoy my day, and next thing, boom, no PlayStation, they're all ignoring me, can't find it, taking piss, and then today, like an angel sent down from heaven, I get a phone call from a man named Declan Griffin, and he said that, David, I am the manager in UPS in Athlone, and if you give me the tracking number, I will find it for you. It's it's up in Dublin, and there's nothing I can do until I get it down here. But if I can find that now, I will get it to you. I will personally deliver it to you myself. What's the tracking number? And I gave him the tracking number. And lads, you're not going to believe this, but this man delivered. My PlayStation. My PlayStation is back. Uh, so I am eternally grateful. And he went above and beyond. And UPS should have more lads like him in management. That's how you get it done. I'm so happy. This yoke has been all over the country. Like, this is the second one. This is number two. I don't even know, I could be in a hundred pieces inside, but at least I, I have it. You know, it's here. So yeah, UPS. Pay more lads like Declan. Get your shit together. But thanks very much, Declan. Fucking appreciate it. Right, now this is a very weird way for Sony to send out a brand new PlayStation. Yeah, here it is. 
Hi, this was a me trade out. through pulling out the television and Jane will start crying. I'm so happy. I know it doesn't look like I'm happy but I'm genuinely I feel like there's a weight off my shoulders. What do I complain about now? stuck on that screen last time well the good news is it's working the bad news is i lost all my games <laughs> so i'm gonna have to get all new ones sick then do you know what i'll do it with. jeez i didn't see you there good morning i'm just really happy this morning i'm sorry about that i'm sitting here waiting for the machine to heat up and it's raining <laughs> Don't care. I woke up this morning just looking at the world with a new sense of awe and wonder. Don't worry about PlayStation. I don't have to worry about UPS anymore. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I'm also pondering if I was to identify as Michael Jackson now, would my new pronouns be hee <laughs> hee? What? Oh, would you look who it is? It's my glorious leader. Starting on the other side of the road. Bye, Greg. Don't be giving out to me. I was hungry. You're not always hungry. I'm always the one begging you to go get some tea. I don't like holding you up. I'm all about big business. It's like my sticker says. In big business, ideal, tight margin, tight pussy. And that's just the way I like it, Greg. Do you know what I mean? Go on, give out about what I'm doing. Yeah, why? Why you? You were meant to be this big fucker. Yeah. And uh, so I know now I have 322 or somewhere around that. And I didn't have. Yeah, yeah. So. And look, it's alright to be 30 or 40 going down. But it can, it can get big. Like, I mean, imagine if Dave was out 70 to one day. Yeah, like, it's not good enough, really. <laughs> There's Greg. I'm just blow the horn out. Ah, he's happy. He's happy because I'm making him so much fucking money. This wood is a piece of piss. Jesus Christ. Boys will have to get a second bank account for all their money. That's why he's smiling. Big fucking arms. You want to be careful not to break the machine in half there, pushing it apart. Oh, dirty bastard! Look how, look how happy this man is. Look. Hey, no, watch, watch. Look at him. Look, he's delighted. He's delighted at himself. He's been making all that money for him. He's getting out now and he's going home, knowing that David's the first one here in the morning and the last one in the evening. Oh god. It's just amazing to be ira fucking place of it. Oh? <laughs> My god, I tell you that was a that was a busy evening. Um Jane was as Vicky to say Intense. Intense. She was so intense. I got her sleep. I, I won that battle and then I didn't read, After an hour and a half. Yeah. Red Clark's story, he fell asleep the minute the book closed, didn't he? Yeah. And I said I'd let Lily stay up and we're going to go do... Because I'm best and perfect. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a few orders now. <laughs> yeah, back to normal tomorrow. Vicky's home for a few days. So. And we... Well, I can't say it's back to normal, normal. It'll, if COVID, until COVID's oh. gone, it's back to normal. <laughs> What's the rule? No talking about COVID. COVID. And, uh, yeah. Busy, 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 busy. I can't believe this apparition that I see in front of me. The 
the fuck are you doing here at this time? I have to go early. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you just fell out of the bed. <laughs> the head on you. That's <laughs> ah, funny. Greg's getting clever in his old age. Greg didn't become a multi-millionaire by being a fucking fool. And you can see the hand catching up on him quick and fast. And he was lying in bed this morning going, I'm not going to pay that fucking prick huge yen per hour to do nothing. Up early and I'll go to work. Clever man, clever man. It's getting close now. I only have two fives left on this side of the road. Just to clean up load. One, two, three, four, on four lines, so I'll turn the crane up to a thousand percent. Get it done. Just do it. Yes, Greg. I am over here now. I am over here. <laughs> uh, that's fucking nice. It's always me. Huh? It's always me telling you to go for food. You're such a greedy, hungry for money, not food, man. Hey, that's why I'm so skinny. I don't eat. You're eating something. Oh, yeah. Don't even tell me, like, turn off your legs there. I thought you'd have a bit of sense. You're only driving a three or four year, like. Yeah, I wasn't the one left the mash key on, and the lights on the other day. Just try two batteries. I didn't leave the lights on, you dickhead. You tell me you didn't, but I know you did. I should have believed what you like. You would want to pay for the batteries. Yeah, that's why you left the last you don't have to pay Yeah, there's no justice, is there? If you if you were to pay for the Here batteries, that never Go and suck my ball sack. Do you know that? Suck them hard. What are you looking at? You don't know what you're doing. Come on. Come on, Greg. Come on. Come on. You me there. No. Tracks clicking, this and annoying. Click, 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 click. Ah, oh, look, the truth of the matter is, I'm never going to catch him in this kind of timber. No, I fucking hope. Once he gets going. Um, I downloaded an audiobook last weekend. It was Stephen Fry. Now, I like Stephen Fry, and I downloaded Mythos. Now, I like Greek and Norse mythology, so to start off with it. I like that kind of thing, so if you're not really into that, you won't like it, but it's such a good book. And I finished it and I downloaded his other book, Heroes, and that's even more widely entertaining. So, yeah, you couldn't go wrong if you want to pass a bit of time like myself. Oh, look at this. Look at this. And then you wonder why my back is sore. Come early in the morning, you won't see him late in the evening. Ah, well. There's GAA and to be done. There's GAA and to be done. It's so nice to come home this evening and have a dinner handed up to you. And not have to do everything with the kids. Not have to shower and bath them. Do all the drying, the washing, the dishwasher. The, the, you know, everything that I do. Yeah. Yeah. So Vicky's so happy to be home. She says it's like a holiday. She said that I had everything in such control that she could really relax all day. Oh, absolutely. Are you not happy to be off for a day? I'd like to be off. And what are you in bad form for? How good a farm are you in? I'm a great farm. Do you know what? It's Thursday night too. I'll tell you later. <laughs> it's Thursday night too. Good, Vic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. Whatever keeps her happy. You like it. Especially on, especially on a Thursday night. <laughs> oh, yeah, typical. Typical. Not sure what can you expect out of fucking, you know, yourself. It's just the way it goes. Ow! into the dryer this morning took the wrinkles out which, like I said Vicky who's gonna see me like who's gonna see me anyway who thinks about that first thing in the morning when you get up and I was up late so on, oh, I was up so late last night and bollocks tired because I did so much writing sorry I got cut off there I was saying I did so much writing I did so much writing last night uh, writing lists 
stuff I wanted Vicky to do today and um, stuff to collect for me in town. So yeah, I was doing a lot of writing, was, uh, aggressive writing, writing really fast, I wrote slow. And uh, at the end then, I just fell asleep, I got up this morning, you know, just today's just a, a better day for it. The sun's gonna come up over that horizon and it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be glorious. Um, yeah, I better, I better get a wee bit of timber. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, happy Friday everyone. I hope you have a good one. This is actually an awkward little site on Lodger Timber because it's the time of year where the logs are very, very slippery while the bark is sliding off. And um, as you can see, the loading area isn't exactly dead straight. So you need to build it up at the bottom. It should be a pain to hold. I'm sure that's why I'm on the big money. Hardly any of them have a, a little bit of bark on them. Makes them slippy. Slippy, 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 slippy. I've been weak though a couple of times. The hills are just hills, they're piss handy. Once the timber's good, the money's good. It's hard to get work up there because the lads that are working up there like to keep their work. And <laughs> why, why fucking wouldn't they? It'd be ages not to. So if there's anyone up there that has work for us. Question because I've thought about it so deeply. I would love to be the man in charge of the critical reading and the subject matter of all our students in school from play school to college. No, it's like shitloads of money for it also. But that would be my dream job, my dream job. This is what I love about Sleeve Blue Mountain. Like, two minutes ago, I had these sunglasses on because the sun was burning the eyes out of my head. And now, now look. It's fucking brilliant. I have four sisters and I have six brothers. And that's not a personal question. The personal question is, what is the vein orientation and positioning on your penis and the exact shading and colouring of it? That's, that's personal, that's personal question. The first harvester that I ever cut a tree with, my first tree was an FMG 990. I had to work with Greg one day. The first harvester that I cut a full line of timber with was an 870 timber jacket. And the first one I drove for a living was a 1070 John Deere. It's hard to say, we've never had one on site to work, so we've no frame of reference. Now we've been promised a demo from Logset for the last six years and we've never received one, so if you extrapolate from that, probably not a good sign, is it? I do and it's cool, but what really, what really I find amazing is when someone would send you a picture or a video of someone wearing your stuff out in Australia or America or Abu Dhabi or Hong Kong, and that blows my mind. Two weeks ago I got a video from a lad that he's working out in Canada and him and two of his mates went on a trip to Toronto and they were out drinking and they seen in a bar another group of lads and one of them was wearing my stuff as well and they ended up going out and drinking for two or three nights and having a crack and getting women and chilling out and you know I was enormously proud of that because I technically created friends new friends on a different continent so come on like that how would you not feel proud of that that's cool oh, that's a good one um my biggest fuck up is spending such a long period of time in my life not realizing that i only have one life i think that's everyone's biggest fuck up really it's great you are flying i want you to it's just you're not flying huh you're not I'm actually going fierce that. You're going to the man. I think I make up in the, the Hey, forward. could I you imagine? Up, I make up in the forward. How about just buying me a big forward? And then we wouldn't have this problem. But then if I had a big forward, then you'd have a big harvester. So it's the same thing. Yeah, you're still Do you know what to call that? You still never catch me. Do you know what to call that? What? An exponential problem. Yeah, Interesting one. Now look, you could talk about this kind of thing all day. I would love to talk about this kind of thing all day. But he was just an opportunistic, power-hungry prick. So, Marxism, as it's known, its original form was, was workers' control over... Right, now time. Uh, yeah, socialism basically is workers' control over production and distribution. So, the workers are in control. But when Lenin had his takeover, which I would call a fucking coup, uh, he decided to go a different way. And what he done was he took over the working factories and the working councils and the factory councils and, like, made people be subservient to him and create himself a workforce army so he was like just a basic dictator just a mutated weird crossbreed kind of socialism far from marxism 
but the uh, country wasn't educated enough to know the difference. Yeah, socialism is bad on every level. It's just my opinion. Funny enough, I know the answer to this question as well. Uh, this isn't my opinion, this is uh, voted for by all his peers. The best hurler in Irish history is a PJ Cuddy, my uncle. Um, yeah, it's on Wikipedia if you want to check it. Funny story about PJ that you probably don't know. He's real modest, modest man, um, titan of Irish GAA. But they wanted to rename Crow Park after him, and he was like, no, 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 thanks. Um, I'm Grant. Um, I don't need it. So like, oh, can we give you? Can we give you five million euro at least? And he was there. No, no, you're all right. I'm making shit loads of the timber. Um, look, it doesn't really matter whether it's a friend or a family member or whoever. If someone's willing to walk away from a relationship like that, just let them stay walking. You don't need them. You're devaluing yourself by trying. Well, I'm not saying that you make fucking enemies and you escalate the hatred. I'm just saying. It's like that great quote, how did it go? Just because you lost me as a friend doesn't mean you gained me as an enemy. I still want you to eat, just not at my table. I love that. What great philosopher did that come from? Tupac Shakur, shit you not. I love my corner bike. I really do love it. Can't say a bad word about it. And I also love MBW Bike Shop in Galway. They're a shameless cloak. 17 years of age, Greg was working a chainsaw every day, stacking timber by hand, generating muscle fibres that I could only dream of. Whereas seven years of age, 17 years of age, I mean, I was playing the PlayStation and pulling my wire. Big difference. I almost taste the stain from all the question marks. In my opinion, masculinity is the adoption of meaningful responsibility for something or someone other than yourself. And the love of masculine, tough music. Rah! I'd do whatever I had to do to make a few pounds, but given the choice, I'd always drive a machine or drive a lorry or something like that. I hate in the night garden, but she seems to like it, therefore I have to watch it. A uh, perfect scenario would be go with my friends and a few of my family to the forestry show in Sweden and have a few drinks and chill out and I'd, I'd like to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm letting Clark stay up a little tonight. Isn't that sound to me? We'll maybe have pizza tonight. We'll see what Mammy's doing.